Let's stress the system. There are lots of ways to stress chemical systems, pressure changes, concentration changes, temperature changes. One of the best ways to stress a house party is to play really bad music. So imagine somebody shows up at the party and plays the worst song ever written, Afternoon Delight. Well, once you hear the words to the song Afternoon Delight, the first thing you're going to do is say, man, don't touch me. I'm out of here. And the next thing you know, there's been a stress created in the system as the boy-girl couple start to move back out into the front room. See, that stress there has made Q stop being a half, and in this particular case, it becomes 1 over 9. But I'm going to stop that stress. I'm going to stop that stress. Somebody runs back out. They tell the DJ, man, change the music. Put some Marvin Gaye back on. And so they put Marvin Gaye back on. And not surprisingly, because Q has to drive back toward K, it has to move to the right and back to that equilibrium relationship that I had when I was starting. And back to Marvin Gaye, let's get it on, K equal to a half. Now, let's look at a new kind of stress. This is the stress that occurs because of concentration changes. In this particular case here, it's going to be a stress because of party crashers. Five guys are going to show up at the party. They weren't invited. We thought it would be a nice little four boy, four girl sort of interaction going on. Nope. Five guys show up. So to the tunes of the boys are back in town, this is what we end up with is five boys walk into the room. Now remember, I had a boy girl couple in the back and another boy girl couple, two boys, two girls out in the front. Now five boys are there. Can you just imagine the tension of what's going on in the room right now? Q, because things have gotten stressed, has become 1 over 7. 2 in the back, 7 times 2 in the front. 7 boys times 2 girls, 1 seventh. Q is now less than K. We gotta fight it. That's okay. Let's put on some Marvin Gaye and see what happens. Well, Once I put Marvin Gaye back on, now we know we have to move towards K equal to a half. And so now we have to figure out how to make K equal to a half when this occurs. Well, if I can get one, boy more, one more boy-girl couple to head over to the right-hand side, I now end up with three in the back room. And I've got, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six boys in the front room and one girl. Even though my concentrations are completely different than they used to be because I've got a lot more boys at the party than I used to have, because K has to stay at a half, I found some new combination of these. It's no longer 2 over 2 times 2 to get a half. Now it's 3 over 6 times 1 to make a half. And my reaction is back to equilibrium. We can continue to play this girl. Uh, this game. And in this particular case, six girls are going to show up. When six girls show up, they now enter this room. I had three couples in the back, six boys in the front, but another six girls show up. I now have three over 42 for my answer. Well, Q is less than K. The system is stressed. I have to fight that stress and move back in the other direction to make it equal to a half. What would this combination have to be to make this happen? I have to somehow make 3 over 42 into 1 over 2. Well, let's see. I'm going to take this boy, girl right here. I'm going to move him back to the back room. If I do that, I've now got 4 over 5 times 6. That's 4 thirtieths. Closer to a half, but not quite there. I'm falling down my hill, aren't I? Now I'm going to take this boy and this girl, and I'm going to move them to the back room. This becomes 5 over 6 times 5, um, excuse me, over um, 5 times 4. Oh, excuse me, I did this incorrectly. This is 6 times 7. This becomes, no, that's right, 5 times 6. So this becomes 5 over 5 times 4, and my answer is 5 twentieths. Now I'm going to take this one and this one and move them back. This becomes 6 over 4 times 3. How's this been going? 3 42nds. 
Another couple goes to the back, four thirtieths. Another couple goes to the back, five twentieths. Another couple goes to the back, six twelfths. What do you know? Six twelfths, one half. By putting six couples in the back room after I had six girls show up at the party, even though I had that initial stress that moved Q way far away, I'm now back to K being equal to a half. This is really an instructive thing to see here. This is showing you something that people never fully appreciate about equilibria. Molecules are pretty darn sp smart about driving themselves towards the equilibrium that they're going to get to. If I tell you that K is equal to a half, then it doesn't matter what I start with. Four boys and four girls, four boys and four girls and five extra guys showing up, four boys and four girls and five extra guys and six extra girls, ready, set, go. Just like that hydrogen balloon, it's going to get itself to where it needs to be. And that place it needs to be is where k is equal to a half here. This is a really nice way for you to get a feel for what's happening on the molecular level when chemical reactions occur. You're seeing this interplay between q and k as stressful situations arise and then the stress is overcome as the system moves back towards delta G equals zero and K equal and Q is equal to K.